Hey guys, back at another video. Or sorry, the phone is upside down. I figure it's a little bit better for me to record that way. Uh, when I got it sideways, it looks kind of weird. But I plan to get a camera soon and start doing a little more videos as I go, making this drift project happen. So as you guys know, I'm about to tell you in the video what's going on. Um, as you guys can see by the description, it is a re um, intake review. Um, I'll get the video of, the, of driving after. Um, I don't know how exactly it's going to go, but I'll try. Um, I, as you guys know, I already installed it. Um, sorry about that. I really wanted to show you guys, but I kind of showed you guys the ifs, ands, and buts about it. Um, and what I forgot to add is that the coupler, the couplers for the um, for the intake is actually kind of small. Um, I think it'd be best to go ahead and buy your own couplers, make them work. Maybe give them an AutoZone. Um, their their Specter, I believe, that Specter isn't that bad. But um, I'm gonna go with what I got now until obviously I buy some new stuff. So guys, stay tuned, and here we go. So in the kit, they give you the piping along with the coupler, the couplers that attaches to here, and then they also give you a spacer or a gasket, and then they give you this and this. I'll tell you, this eBay kit sucks. Um, it really does suck, but I made it work. Um, to get this adapter in this thing, I literally kept having to twist, had to push, had to pull. I mean, it was insane. I even had to use, I even had to use um, a flathead or whatever to pull it, pry it open, and push it in. Finally, I got it on. Uh, this kind of sucked as well. Um, I was I had to go all the way to the full max that let me open to get it around. Finally got it working as I was getting some uh, oops, I was getting some Taco Bell. Um, this it also comes with the this little thing. I kind of just did it, uh, made it up myself. I seen someone else do it, but uh, it's like a it's like a metal bar. They also give you this piece as well. Don't know what that's for. This is the way I did it. I used a screw that I had. I mounted it down and I bent it with some pliers. Um, I bent it with some pliers, and then I also bent I bent it here first. Still didn't match up, and I bent it here. I pulled it back. Um, just I mean, just play with it. Um, for I know some of you guys are probably new at it, but it's where the the filter comes through. I'm missing her thing. Wow, it popped out. But um, yeah, so airflow comes through here to intake. It's really small for my liking. Um, mine is huge, sounds great, but I uh, had this left over. Told her she wanted to get rid of the stock air box to hear the little whistle, bam, there she goes. So also what I did do is take the whole tin take off and then uh, made it work. So I uh, reused the screws that came out of the OEM. Um, they didn't want to go all the way in there. I kind of just forced them and finally they started screwing right in. I used a 10 mil socket for that and uh, had to redo this one out and put this in there. It didn't fit exactly quite, so I just, I just uh, put, I th threaded it, hand threaded that in there, and then I started using that, and it just kind of came on. So as you can see, it's on there pretty tight. Ain't going anywhere. But yeah, that's the intake filter. I'll show you mine real quick. All right, guys, so this is my engine bay. It's a 2004. Got the Kentix intake, as much as you guys know, who's been following my channel. Um, so this is the pipe that comes with it. These are a bitch. I'm def definitely getting some new couplers. Couplers. I kind of just got it because I wanted the, the aluminum finish. I had a stock OEM finish. As you can see, my filter is a pretty big filter. It's kind of on there a little different. It's already on like that when I got the car, but it's a uh, blocks intake filter. It's huge. And I haven't. I noticed. I haven't really noticed anything slouchy with the car. It's been running fine. Uh, sounds really good, but as I was saying, those are the couplers that came with it. It's not exactly a really good fit. Um, I haven't really tried the bottom because I actually have that blocked off from my uh, uh, my oil catch can. So I have that blocked off. So on the bottom, I just got a little grommet on the bottom with the uh, screw with the clamp. But yeah, that's the fitting for that. I'm definitely gonna get me some new uh, new hose clamps. A new hose. Sleeves or whatever you want to call them. So I'm definitely going to get new couplers. These are poop. Fitment's not perfect, but I think it's because whoever made this, it needs to be bent back. Um, that's the way they have that installed. 
But yeah, guys, thank you for follow, uh, following my project. For those of you who are, I'll be posting more of the videos as I go. I was gonna, um, last video I did was the oil catch can if anybody's interested. Looks really beautiful in the motor. You can tell definitely that it's working. Alright guys, until next time. So let's take a ride. Alright, I need back this seat. She sits so close to the steering wheel. No oh, issues. <laughs> Joking. Okay. So, sometimes her lights come on, sometimes it doesn't. I gotta figure out ground issue somehow. And there we go. Everything's working. Awesome. First start up. Let's go. Okay. Pretty normal. Our gas gauge is kind of weird. We're working a little bit at a time as we go. Turn that down a little bit. Everything seems to be idling fine. Uh, well, I'll probably go ahead and get out of the neighborhood. Usually I let it warm up, but... so good. She also needs new ABS sensors. Feels a little bit more responsive. Um, I'll wait till I get out to the uh, interstate. Turn on her lights real quick. I got the interstate to bypass. Sorry. Man, listen to that baby roar. say it's it works and I feel a little bit of power difference but not like a whole whole lot 